It's so hard to say goodbye to baby girl. Hello. It's time for her to go to her mommy and I'm going to miss her. Who is that car? I don't know. Okay. What car? What color? Um, white. Hmm? white. The white car? Mm -hmm. I don't know whose white van it is. This is the white car. They said hi, Momo. She, um, I'm eating a fish filet from McDonald's. She wanted some french fries from there. Huh? You already ate all your french fries? No. Well, I need, I need one more drink. Where is my drink? You, you already drank it. Huh? I need my drink back. You drank it all. I have to get mommy to get you another chocolate milk since you drank it all. Your mommy about to pick you up in a minute. You can tell her to get you some more milk. You already have my eyes. You already have my nose. And your ears. You already have them. And your You have pants. it all. You can't have my pants. Look. Shirt. Look at her outfit. I okay, styled I'm her gonna nicely. Give it. I'm going to give it to you. I can't wear your outfit. This to you. My pants to you. And I'm going to give that to me. I styled her nice. Let, us, let them see your shoes. And she got dirty quick, but. Daddy did a decent job, right? I did yeah, okay. and I don't care. I'm going to miss you. I, I don't want you to go. I want you to stay. Yeah, I don't want you to go. I want you to stay. I know you got to go to school tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. You ready to go to school? Mm -hmm. Okay, put your nose on my nose. Mm hmm? Nose on my nose. No. Right, right, right. I guess I'm going to be tap dancing, y'all. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do when she's not around, man. When she's not around, y'all know I'll be tap dancing with Superman costumes. My, you keep calling me. Huh? Keep calling my phone. Yeah, I'm going to keep calling your phone, too. I'm going to have to talk to you every day on FaceTime, no, okay? that's mommy phone. Well, but I FaceTime you, though. I can't talk. Yeah, you can talk, big no, head. No, I can't. You no. talked my head off look, the other day. Look, You talked my head off the other day. So stop playing. I get talk. Y'all like the outfit? I did all right? Okay. You see the socks, too? They like stockings. Do you like my outfit? Comment down below. Comment down below. She said comment down below. Comment down below if you like my outfit. Ah, oh, give me five. My little content creator. I seen some people in the comments too, man. Do y'all know she got 100,000 followers on her page? Type in Princess Amora. She has 100,000 followers. She is a content creator. She is an influencer. And she's going to do it the positive way too. They love it. They say you have her, you have pretty dress. Pretty dress. She said you have her dress pretty. Okay, comment down below if you see my TikTok. Said comment down below if you see her TikTok. That's what she said. See, she's a content creator. Comment a lot of down guys. Comment below if you see my car. You heard that too. We got some pictures that we're gonna post too in a little bit. Comment, comment down below. Down, and comment down below.
below if you see if you see my my TikTok and my sister. If you see her and her sister on TikToks, comment say nice things. And my brother. And her brothers. Only say nice things, guys. Only nice things. Positivity over everything. And my mama. And her mama. Hold on. Hold on. Feels like feels like my um camera is is dull a little bit. And my daddy. And my dad. See, be nice to daddy. You heard what she said? Be nice to me. Cause they be saying some some stuff, don't they? Hey, give me a huggy. Give me a huggy. Mosty feels my pain. She said, be nice to everybody. Be nice to aunties, everybody. She said, be nice. We come in peace. Say, we come in peace. We come in peace to my sister. You hear that? Tell them you are a content creator. You are the content You. Comment down below <laughs> if you see um, my house of a new house to two houses and I'm is four. You heard that. For resort. You heard it here first. Comment when you see she has a new house and you heard what she said. And you and you look like mama, mama, mama. Huh? I look you, like what? You, you, you. There you go, my mommy. There go your mommy. Hi. 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 There go your mommy. You're not gonna go out the window. Thank you. Go. Go around the other side. What you think of her outfit? Look at the stockings. And she got dirty quick too, boy. Nothing, man. I turned for one second. We took a picture. I turned for one second. And then look at her, look at her pants right there. And look at the shoes. That fast. Busted. Busted. Did Bring this have, back. Did you buy a lot of dresses? Um, I got a, a good bit of stuff. This at the crib though. So she, so she has stuff. So she has she stuff when she comes to my school. house. She fight me every morning because she don't wear her pants. You, you're not going to get away like that, little girl. Come give me another hug. Y'all look like y'all going to church. <laughs> we was going to go to church. Well, since she didn't want to go. Yeah, right. What church you go to? Yeah. I miss you. <laughs> you going to be good? Mm -hmm. Okay, be good. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Take your fries. She wants get her another chocolate milk. She says she wants another chocolate milk from McDonald's. Still eat mad, huh? Huh? Still eat mad. Yes, she is. No, you. Definitely fish ain't hers. <laughs> Bye, Lala. Where's Lala? Tell Lala, come give me a hug. Love you, baby. You good, okay? Okay. All right. This car look nice. Thank you. <laughs> How y'all guys doing, man? It's so hard to say goodbye to Moski Woski. Yes, man. Y'all, thanks for tuning in, too, man.
I got more beautiful content I'm going to be posting, obviously. Um, to all the mothers and fathers around the world, continue to do what's right for your children. We know that's what it's all about. Our kids don't ask to be here. And future content creators of the world, man. You know, our babies. Children are our future. So a lot of y'all see me post my little girl. I need y'all to understand she's already a content creator with over 100,000 followers on her Facebook page. So I will be tagging the um, page name in this right here. A lot of you guys have seen her page. I started her page when she was right before she was born. Uh, Princess Amora, she has over 100,000 followers. So guys, make sure y'all check that page out. Um, she's going to get better and better as she goes. Um, just like my my oldest daughter, Desharia. She's a singer as well as me. You know, I sing to my babies ever since they was babies. So it's only natural that they're going to be able to sing as well. So, you know, they're following in their dad's footsteps. I mean, it's one of those things that as, as fathers and mothers, when we have talents, we usually try to pour those talents into our children as well. So to all of y'all out there that's got y'all plumbers, y'all kids might end up being plumbers because y'all are plumbers. Whatever it is that you guys do as parents, a lot of times your kids is going to fall in the same footsteps. So me as a content creator, as a rapper, as a singer, as an actor, as a motivational speaker, as a cancer survivor, as an author, you know, I, I use my platforms to, you know, kind of put my testimony out there and show you guys how you can come from nothing and turn your life around. I grew up, you know what I'm saying? I grew up, I came from a different foundation. Y'all know I lost my mother when I was five years old. I had my dad, I was raised by my grandparents. So I had to work with what I had. You know, as a kid, I've always had to get out here and get it on my own, so I knew how to survive. So that's one of the things that, you know, I always want my kids to have everything that they need and get the right guidance, you know? Because growing up in that two-parent household, the way we would like to, our mother and our father, you know what I'm saying? We would all love to have that, you know what I'm saying? But some of us are not blessed with that. Again, I lost my mom when I was five, so I don't even know what that looks like to have a mother. So to everybody out there who has a mother, man, salute to y'all. Keep y'all's heads up. Remain positive and just do the right thing. That's that's my thing. Y'all can call me Latruth. Y'all can call me Robert Hampton, a.k.a. Latruth, a.k.a. Mr. Do the Right Thing. That's all it's about, man. And I come in peace, people. Let's let's keep positivity over everything around here, man. We got to stop looking for something negative. Everybody looks for something negative in everything that's on the internet, even when it's positive content. When it's positive content, let's all keep it positive the whole time. You understand what I'm saying? Let me see. Keep sharing these wonderful moments with us. You motivate others to do the same. I will, man. That's the reason why I post this beautiful content like that. Obviously, I can keep my love behind the scenes and nobody would ever see it. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it's very necessary to post these moments. Um, I want to see fathers be more happy about spending time with their children and posting the moments on social media. And I want to see fathers stop being shamed for it as well. You know, it's a lot of women out here who do shame fathers for posting content on social media with their kids. And I feel like a mother should be able to post content with their kids and a father should be able to post content with their kids equally. We have to show the world there's two parents. You know, a lot of times people feel like it's only one parent. Nah, it's, it's a mother and a father. It's a mother and a father. You understand what I'm talking about? And they're both important. So, important. so stop shaming fathers for posting their moments with their children. Fathers love their children just as much as the mother loves the children. I promise you guys. I can speak because I know me. I know my love for my kids is genuine. And um, I'm going to always post my moments. And I don't post every moment, man. If y'all seen all the moments that I have with my children that I don't post, some of y'all would have tears in your eyes. They're so beautiful. They're so natural. You know, when that camera comes on, the moments be a little bit different. But without those cameras, man, those moments be even more beautiful. You understand what I'm talking about? But to all the fathers out there, man, I want to encourage y'all. Real father gang, I want to see y'all posting those moments with y'all kids. And to everybody out there, too, that's hearing this message, man, just because you and the mother of the children is not together, to the fathers out there, y'all still can have cordial communication you know what i'm saying everything is about the kid man let's make the atmosphere for the children always positive i'm always going to speak positive about the other parent of my children no matter what and that's how it's supposed to be nobody should be speaking negatively on on none of their parents period you know what i'm saying even if you got a gripe with that person man let the kid figure it out for themselves 
You know, you don't need to do that. Don't go back. Don't do that. Don't talk bad about the other parent. Nobody, no matter what, just just let it move. Let it flow how it flow. Let it flow naturally. Y'all said, uh, y'all know the fish fillet is not is not a bad thing. Fish fillet is not a bad thing to eat. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> Somebody said she's still concerned with uh, what you eating healthy. Oh, church touched on that today, man. That needs to be touched on by everybody every day, man. Every day. It's all about the children, y'all. It's all about the children. I also want to say this too, man. Um, I see a lot of people speaking negativity over me being a grandfather. Um, I want to say this to you guys, man. Please do not ruin the experience for any mother, no matter how old the mother is, man. It's a lot of mothers out here who are teenage mothers, man. And I feel for y'all. If y'all had to go through so much negative judgment from people, I can imagine how hurtful it uh how hurtful it is, man. To everybody who has children, y'all know what it feels like to have your first child. And this is everybody. I don't care if you're a teenager, an adult, whatever it is, once you birth your first child, it's gonna be happiness. Nothing but happiness, man. When you see life coming into this world, it's going to be nothing but happiness, man. So y'all got to stop with y'all judgment, man, and be a negative to other people's situation. If it ain't your situation, you really have to back away from it and stop putting y'all's judgment out on the Internet so much, man. Because all of us as parents, man, we have a vision for our kids. We all do. Every one of us. I had a vision for my daughters. Obviously, I would, I would, I wanted my daughters both to be grown out of high school establishing their careers financially stable all of those things before they ever have children but in this world we live in man just like not just now but this has been happening a lot of y'all women on here were teenage mothers so this is my thing for all of the teenage mothers that's on here right now if you're giving negative judgment over someone who made the same mistake that you guys made to me that makes no sense it makes no sense, man. You have to say the positive things, man. I want to see y'all saying positive things. Any teenage mother that y'all see on social media, I want y'all to go to their comments and say positive things like, you're going to be a great mother. You are going to graduate high school. You are going to accomplish so many things. Even though you're a mother, you're still going to accomplish everything that you set out to accomplish. That has to be the speech, man. Encouragement is the only thing that we should be doing as human beings, man. So I tip my hat to any woman out there that had to start early, that was a teenage mother, and your kid is now prospering in life. You went on and accomplished so many different things that a lot of people said you was not going to be able to accomplish. You understand what I'm talking about? And to the fathers out there around the world, man, if you go through this, if you become a grandpa at an early age, if you have a teenage daughter or a teenage son, help them, man, guide them. Shouldn't be no kids being kicked out of the home who have babies. Shouldn't happen. And I've seen so many comments from women who said that they was teenage mothers and they got kicked out the house. Those comments to me hurt my feelings a lot because it's like, wow, that's still your kid. Your kid made a mistake. And that grandkid is still your DNA. That's your legacy. So you're supposed to be trying to do everything in your power to protect your legacy and make your legacy strong as possible. So I would never be that type of person. I'm not, I would never disown my child, my children, none of that. Because that's my DNA and my kids didn't ask to be here. You understand what I'm talking about? I'm going to have a conversation with them when they mess up. We all supposed to as parents. But them kids did not ask to be here. So once they get here, they become your problem. You understand what I'm talking about? That is your responsibility to, for your children, no matter what they do. That's your responsibility. And you got to be there for the kids, for the grandkids, everybody, man. Because you started that legacy. You got to always remember who's the leader. Somebody started the legacy with us. We got fathers. We got grandfathers. So every mistake we made, did they cut us off? Some of us may got cut off and we had to learn the hard way. But at the same time, we got to always think. Legacy is very important. When you put, when your DNA is out here, you have to protect your DNA. You have to strengthen your DNA. You have to encourage your DNA. No child left alone, man. And that's real, man. We have to stand by our own. We have to stand by our children. We have to strengthen ourselves in every community. 
and I see us struggling a lot in the black community, man. And we got to all come together. That's just what it is. We got to. We got to look past a lot of the stuff that happens, man. And we got to be strong for our families. Protect our DNA, man. Like Lyra said, things happen. Of course things happen, man. It's out of our control. Could nobody control us neither. Y'all know we went through the same things, man. Now, I had my first kid. I was 25, 26 years old when I had my first child. Everybody does not everybody don't is not fortunate enough to be on that same timeline. You understand what I'm saying? So when it happens, it happens, but you gotta step up to the plate and understand now it's time to be a mother or a father, whoever it is. You gotta step up. You got to step up. Things can still be accomplished. Maybe a little bit more tougher, but things can still be accomplished, man. And like I said before, we live in a judgmental world. So to whoever you is out there, whatever mistake you make, you made that mistake. You know what you got to do to make it right. You know what you got to do to strengthen your situation and your family. Don't worry about the opinions of other people. The judgment is always going to be casted. Always. But only God can judge us, right? All we can do is do what's best, do what's right, and do our best to do what's right. You understand what I'm saying? That's all we can do. <clears throat> Where you guys from, man? Like my little girl said when she was on here, comment down below. Where are you guys from? She said, "My your kids are not, your kid's dad is not in their life at all. You're a good dad. Thank you so much, man. All you got to do is pray that your kid's dad comes around. You know, call him. Tell him how much the kids is missing him. Tell him. You know what I'm saying? Figure out the best way possible to talk to him. I don't know how y'all relationship may have ended, but, you know, it's all about the child. To any man or woman watching, understand this. It's all about your children. Do what's in the best interest of your children. You don't have to be together. But you have to communicate properly for your children. You have to give your kids the tools that they need to be successful. And that's just, that's the bottom line. No matter what happens, you have to be able to move cordially with your children. Preach the word of real life issues. I'm, I'm definitely thinking about doing that, man. I've, I've actually been doing that for a long time with my platforms, though, when I go live. Like, you know, if I'm not coming on here being comical or being a comedian or if I'm not coming on here for entertainment purposes a lot of times I come on here and I speak this real stuff like what I'm speaking right now your daughter got pregnant at 15 and I now have a 20 year old grandson and six other grandkids that's what's up Tracy Lynn that's a blessing man a lot of y'all don't know I I'm gonna share my experience with y'all on um, how I felt becoming a grandfather, how I felt looking at my daughter um, with so much joy and happiness in her eyes and holding her baby to see how happy she was. It reminded me of how happy I was when she was first born. So you can never try to take away a person's happiness or joy. We, we, we can't. We got to understand it, man. It's, it's, it's different, man. It's different, man. Everybody has a joy whenever they bring life into the world. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that about this the side. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's not that's not cool at all. I don't even want to read that comment out loud because it's so it's so negative and it's it's hurtful just to even read it. So I don't want to bring life to what you said, but I'm praying for you and your family. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Sorry your kids had to go through that too as well, man. So congratulations, Grandpa. I appreciate it, man. You know, when y'all on her page, speak life into her. Tell her she's going to be a great mother. She's going to accomplish great things no matter what. Remove your judgment. Remove the negative responses that you guys be putting under posts like that. Like, speak nothing but life. You know how they say it takes a, a village to raise a child? Even people on the outside, the noise on the outside can cause confusion. You know, some of the things you guys say is hurtful. So, 
as a as as me, just as an advocate for being a real father, man. Me representing real father game. If I see any post come up with any of you guys' children or grandkids and they become mothers in the early age, if I come in, it's going to be positive. I'm going to tell them, you're going to be a great father. You're going to be a great mother because that's what I want to do. Like me personally, I want to contribute to the positive things in people's lives. That's, that's I want to contribute to the positive. That's it. I want to encourage people. No matter what mistake you've ever made in your life, you can get through that. Just got to be positive. You got to work a little harder. You're going to have to work a little bit harder for sure. But I don't believe in that turning your back on your kids, man. So to the future, young grandparents of the teenage mothers and teenage sons out there, don't turn your back on your kids, man. Help them, guide them. And do what's necessary to prevent it from happening again. Because that's all you can do is do, what ne do what's necessary to prevent it. There's so many different things that you could do. Good morning to everybody, man. Happy Sunday to everybody, too. But I'm about to get up off here, man. I just wanted to go live with y'all for a little bit. And I'm going to get back with y'all later on, man. Thanks for tuning in, man. Peace. I love y'all. Blessings. Shout out to all the real mothers and real fathers around the world. Remember, encourage. Take your judgments out the way of anybody's post, anybody's positive post, anything that makes somebody happy. Encourage people, man. No matter what your thought process, process is around it. Encourage people. Tell them that they can be great no matter what. Whatever it is. All right? Peace. I love y'all. Blessings.